Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm bringing you guys Emika's makeover. So I've actually been dying to do a makeover on her because, well, as you guys know, we've had her as a teen for a very long time, probably the longest teen I've ever had in The Sims 4. And we've been seeing her in the same outfits for a little bit, but thankfully we had a couple outfits that were like rotating. So we weren't seeing her in the exact one outfit for a while which i like to give my sims at least four outfits that they can alternate between so it's not like you know the same stuff all the time which i definitely could have given her a makeover at any point but you know i did it so this is her and her young adult form so i really wanted to take a more fashionable approach i mean i feel like her outfits were fairly fashionable for her teen life but because in the back of my mind i was thinking about the careers that she might possibly go into and the one that i think i'm most likely going to pick style influencer i did go ahead and put a poll a few days ago or the other day um asking you guys because i was just curious to see what you guys were thinking about uh what career she should go into because i talked about this in the last episode because I've been kind of lost and I like seeing you guys' input on it and the vote that actually won which I'm super surprised about was fashion photographer. I haven't really played with fashion photographer career um, ever since I did my Moschino stuff pack review so I'm not entirely sure how it works 100% anymore but I did get a few comments um, saying that the career itself is a little bit buggy so depending on how that career is we might maybe, I don't know if you can have a career while you are studying in university. If that's not possible, then I'll worry about maybe trying fashion photography and then maybe she'd go into style influencer because I feel like fashion photography could be like a good starter career for her. So I think ultimately style influencer is going to be her thing, but maybe she could get into photography first and then potentially move up in the industry and actually become a style influencer. So I think that would be kind of like a fun process for her because I don't know how exciting a fashion photographer career really is. Again, I haven't really played with it much, so I'm not entirely sure. But again, she's been kind of like taking photos here and there, you know, ever since she was a kid. I mean, she's taken selfies with her her friends and stuff like that so I guess in a way she has kind of a little bit of photography in her but nothing too crazy so I guess we can definitely go in and develop that skill so I'm excited to try that out and see how everything pans out um so I yeah like I think I think it'll be fun I feel like she would definitely be like a city girl you know trying to get away from like her usual every day-to-day -day life now she already is taking the step in going away from home and going to university and and I feel like I'm probably going to have her go to Foxbury. I just feel like that would be her vibe. And also I have already played in Brychester, so I think it would be nice to have a change for once. And I really like how modern um, Foxbury is as well. So I'm kind of excited to see how things go. Now, here's the thing is because I would love for, you know, her friends like Miki and Anami, Hades and um, Taku, her boyfriend currently, uh, I would love for them to go to university as well. But the thing is, is like, I probably could set them up to go, but apparently people are saying that if you're not playing with the household they don't actually like graduate or anything so i'm not entirely sure how i'm gonna go about that because i would like to see them around the you know university world so i might like enroll them and then like later down the line cheat their degrees or something i have no idea how i'm gonna do this i still have to go in and age them all up and give them makeovers and all that so i'd like to do that now also i wanted to ask you guys if you guys would like to submit some sims some young adult sims for um the series so we can have them you know roaming around um the university world i would be more than gladly to take on your sims and put them in my world here's the thing though i would prefer for them to be cc free or at least as little bit of cc only because then it makes the process of putting them into the world a lot easier if you use cc it's fine i'll just like go ahead and adjust them you guys can go ahead and use the hashtag nixel townies and then in your like description make sure to write that it's for like snowy escape so i know that those are the sims that you intend for them to be in snowy escape because that hashtag has been used for other series as well so yeah if you guys want to do that that'd be really cool because i think it'd be fun to like include some more sims because we've had like the original like townies um that come with the sims and other packs they've been alive for a really long time and i've considered maybe you know going off of long lifespan and just um 
playing on normal but i feel like it would ruin the feel and i feel like everything would go by so quickly so i kind of like the whole fact of me having control and when i age everybody up and everything and also since this is going to be now the tsukino legacy because emika tsukino it's we're continuing on her legacy um i thought about like you know how the original like legacy challenge you start off with like absolutely like nothing i was thinking about doing that as well like maybe you know she wants to like start her life from scratch like after she graduates university and we do that but then again i'm like she's not really the matriarch so i don't know if that would make sense and then again i want her to be like in the city so like maybe we could start with like a really rough down apartment or maybe with absolutely nothing um move into an empty apartment and gotta work our way up i think it'd be i just want like a little bit of a challenge so it's like i don't move into a fully furnished apartment and like we're already doing super well i want her to like struggle because i feel like she wants to you know start her own um life and venture i mean her mom definitely struggled with money for her entire life basically so she's only now getting into careers that are helping her like the masseuse and like having the store and everything so it's not a very steady income but it definitely is helping a lot more now so essentially she just wants to build her life from the ground up and i think that would be really fun to like see it a legacy in like an apartment type of style instead of like finding like an empty land i mean uh, i think it'd be kind of fun and different to try it because that way it'd be like a legacy in a way just not you know your typical type of one and she's obviously not our matriarch she is the heir so i think it'd be really fun like i'm actually really excited now another thing is i don't know if i'll be posting her legacy before or after the new expansion pack comes out because i know that i think i get early access like a little bit before the release date so i'll probably be working on that and i don't know if i want to rush into this legacy i want to like set everything up get everybody ready and all that so it really depends on how my schedule goes but i'd like to be able to maybe prep them first and then release them when they're ready so there could be a chance that this might come out after you know some of the new series for cottage living comes out or it might be before but i also don't want her legacy to like fall under the hype of you know all the cottage living stuff so this might potentially come out a little after i mean we still have two episodes left of snowy escape so i think i might do a little bit of cottage living first and then we'll start off um emika's legacy because i don't want to like you know just start the legacy and then abandon it once cottage living comes out for a little while because i definitely want to be focusing on cottage living content and releasing that series so i think a little bit after you know the hype has died down a little bit i think we'll release um emika's legacy so i hope you guys are okay with that also if you guys want a cc list let me know and i'll try and get one up a lot of the cc that i'm showing here was featured in my cc haul video i know some of the pieces weren't but uh let me know and i'll try and get that done and post it on tumblr but that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys